All right, we are here in Las Vegas. We have just finished with CES. We are at the High Roller Vegas, the world's tallest observation wheel. We are almost at the top of the world's tallest observation wheel. And we're having a cocktail and talking over the what we saw at the show. Right. We saw obviously some self-driving cars, infotainment systems, we saw drones, we saw TVs. We, we saw TV. We saw some actual normal electronics <laughs> like TVs and computers and, sm and smartphones. Mm -hmm. We saw strange hoverboardy, skateboardy yeah, types skateboard of things. things. We saw home we saw home gear that mm -hmm. uh, that you can control from almost anywhere, things that can spy on you from your ceiling cans. Yes. Various uh, robots. Yeah, so I, I'm going to start with by asking you guys because uh, I, I'll, I I shouldn't talk to you whole thing. Uh, Jim, let's start with you. You were looking at uh, automotive throughout the uh, show. What did you see that really kind of wowed you? What was the what was the thing that kind of like that you that even you didn't believe they could do? <laughs> well, you know, the, the, probably the biggest thing is the, the self-driving car stuff. You know, we're getting closer and closer to self-driving cars. Audi has said that within two years they're actually going to be selling one. That, you know, that was a big announcement here. The BMW i3 that we saw that will that'll park itself. You just get out, you hit a button on your smartphone or your smartwatch, and it wanders off and finds itself a spot. When in, you were, in the parking lot where you brought it to? In a parking garage, a multi-story, yes. <laughs> With, <laughs> ideally, yes. Suddenly it goes off to like a nightclub somewhere and finds itself a spot there. Right. I like it better there. <laughs> um, yeah, no, and then when you're ready to get it back, you just press the button again, and it'll find its way back. What about the Mercedes that, that allows you to, uh, this, is my, this is my favorite car thing, that allows you to, that has captain's chairs that swivel around. To me, yeah. there's nothing that says, like, I'm abdicating my sense of responsibility for piloting this car, right. like a swiveling captain chair. Yeah, that's a self-driving car for people who really don't want to drive. And, then, know, they, and even the steering wheel, like, goes away? How do, yeah, the, how the, so? When, when, as I understand it, when, they, when you turn the front seats around to face the folks in the rear, the steering wheel actually disappears in the dashboard. <laughs> until it's such, well, you know. Admitting it's irrelevant, <laughs> right? Admitting it, yeah. Go right. about your business, I'll take care of it. I'll take care of the driving. You guys watch TV, I'll take care of everything, yeah. <laughs> what about you, Maria? You you were, you were you, actually, the, when I first asked you what, yes. your, what, uh, what impressed you, you were talking about a new USB standard. <laughs> yes, a new USB standard, which is not exactly what people are No, liking. but I like this, that's your engineering spirit, <laughs> it's right? Exciting you know, to you, go out and buy, but it's a new USB standard, so you know how when you have a USB plug, you always put it in the wrong way first, and you gotta flip it. Yeah. So the new one, which is called Type C, USB Type C, will you can put it in either way, so you don't have that annoying. Hey, I like that I always idea. Put it in the I wrong like way. it too. I like it too. I'm, I admit that I'm a klutz, and I, and I need to do it. Uh, how about something a little more exciting? Let's give something to the people. Uh, what about like uh, drones? We saw lots of drones. We saw lots of drones. We saw you know regular big drones. We saw one little little drone, which is actually a selfie drone. It's called Xano, and it's really kind of nice because it flies up and you can take your selfie picture with it. Mm -hmm. It can follow you around. It can follow somebody else around that you point out to it. You control it on your phone. Or <laughs> it your sounded narcissistic <laughs> when it was you, when it was you know you, but it sounds actually positively kind you know weird kind of creepy when it's somebody else. Kind of right? a stalking yeah. drone. Yeah. I liked what I saw from DJI, which was actually not just a mm -hmm. drone. It was in fact it was a camera yeah. on a gimbal that you could remove from the drone and then put it on like a little stick yeah. and walk around and get like oh, essentially wow. a tiny right, like a steady cam. Yeah. Which was awesome. Oh, wait, I think we are actually at the very, very top. Wow. Of oh the goodness, world's highest observation wheel. So as we you are, we so are. I want to. I want to let our audience actually take a look at the city out here. Look at this. This is a Vegas sunset. Uh, the Vegas Strip at sunset. Wow. And you can you can basically see all the casinos, Caesars, of course, yep. where many fortunes were won lost. <laughs> What about some of the other things that we saw? Uh, we saw we saw some actual bread and butter things yeah. like televisions, yeah. which are, didn't seem so bread and butter, yeah. right? What, is, what was the, what was what was your most interesting TV? So a lot of TVs, you know. So the TVs last year were curved was the big news, and there was a lot more curved TVs this year, a lot more uh, UHD 4K TVs this year. But now they're coming out with more what they're calling it's different terms for it. It's called quantum dot, which sounds very scientific. They call it, Samsung called You're it SUHD. I am a scientist. <laughs> SUHD. So these, this new technology has gives a greater color range to the TVs, and they look beautiful because they're very saturated color, very bright. But there's a problem, and the problem is there's no content that can use that right now. So they're selling these TVs more for future-proof reasons. The other thing in TVs is a lot of thin TVs, and really thin, like thinner than my hand. I mean, 0.2 inch thin. Yeah, Ooh. I saw I saw the TV from Sony, and that that. 
and I, I guess I couldn't even understand how it doesn't sort of collapse under its own weight. You ever like hold up a really big, because it's not small, right? right? You hold up a really big piece of paper and it's just going to flop over. <laughs> and yet somehow they've structurally supported yeah. this thing so that it doesn't go and, you know, just I guess, fold like a napkin. Right, and most of them, they're not point two inch the whole way down. They're, they're thin and then they jut out because you do, in fact, have to put electronics in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, you, you saw the, the BMW self-parking car, right? I did. And so did it hit anybody when it tried to park itself? Did not, it? not to the best of my knowledge. <laughs> any, any other cars? No, again. Did it hit you? <laughs> no, thankfully. <laughs> so explain, show me, talk, talk me through the process. Like, does it, how does it know its way around a parking lot? It uses laser sensors. There's one in the front, one on each side, and one in the back of the car. So it knows what's going on all around it. And it will actually maneuver around things like the concrete posts and parking garages, other cars, and yes, other pedestrians. And I'd imagine in a parking garage, you can't rely on GPS, right? Because some of them are, are covered, right? right? So it's not really using GPS, no, is that right? No, the laser sensors are doing it all. Wow. And, uh, it's, and it'll, it'll find an open parking space, it'll park itself in it, and you can go off and do your whatever it is you want to do. Talk about curb feelers, right? <laughs> yeah. um, and then what about, uh, we saw we saw some cool laptops too, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, there's a laptop, the Lenovo Lovey Z. Yeah, the Z series. It's That's very, right. very light. It's it, For 13-inch laptop, which is not the smallest laptop, we see a lot of 11s, but it's lighter than any of the other laptops that we've seen so far. It's 1.7 pounds, wow. so it's like over half a pound lighter than a uh, a 13 inch MacBook Air, right? Wow. Um, so, that would uh, be a good one for a trade show. It would be great because we're walking like miles and miles and miles and lugging a laptop around is hard. So let's let's finish up here. Uh, I, I want to I sort of back you guys into a corner even after just seeing what, you know a few things and just casually looking at it and, and we haven't tested a thing. <laughs> which which products that you saw here did you want? You know, probably the coolest thing I saw was the Corvette Z06 convertible. I hadn't seen one of those before. Was that just somebody driving it? No, it was just, it was on the Chevy stand for whatever reason. But the BMW is pretty cool, you know? I mean, as much as I like to drive, uh, parking, certainly parking in a parking garage, finding a space is not my favorite part of the process. I could probably go for one of those. True, I can, I'm with you on that. I, 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 we may have to get two of those. Yeah. What about you, Maria? What did you see that you liked? I like that light laptop because there's something about not having to lug something around but still have the capability to have a laptop with you that I like. You like that more than the USB plug? I, I like the USB plug, but that's not available what if yet the on laptop computers. had the new USB plug? <laughs> it would plug. be the it, most perfect laptop. It did. It didn't, didn't it? But you haven't tested it, right? Correct. Uh, so so it's, a, it's a cautious endorsement. Exactly. Uh, okay, so me, I'm I'm nuts. I liked I liked that that one wheel skateboard thing, yes. which I, you know we didn't really describe how the skateboards work, but this is a self balancing skateboard. Mm -hmm. It's not even a skateboard. It's like a wheel with a with platform. a platform yeah. on it and electronics that keep you from falling down. And this thing, it's in, it goes 12 miles per hour. You lean forward and then you go forward. You lean back. You you go back. You sort of tilt from side to side <laughs> and you fall on your face. It's really kind of cool and pointless. And there's just something you know joyful about that, right. that that sort of combines electronics with just you know reckless fun and I want one and I just have to keep my kids away from it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like we're now truly officially done with this show. It was great. I had a great time. I don't know about you guys. Did it you? Was yeah. Terrific. Always it was, a great show. It was fun. We'll, we'll be back next year yeah. as always. Um, and what a great way to end it. Um, we're we're here in the gorgeous skyline and the sun is just set behind us. We're actually going out for a night in Vegas. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. For complete ratings on everything we test, go to consumerreports.org.